Hi guys, welcome to The Grace Life. So in this video today, we're going to be recycling. We have a box to recycle because I need some more storage for my crafts. So, back here in the background, you're going to see that I embellished this. I already have a video out for this, guys, so this will be up soon. And we did some more recycling, recyclable items over here, again, for storage of the small little stuff that gets in the way. So. Um, I am recycling this. This time the box is not going to be black. This time the box is pink and it's still going to be a Vogue craft. So we are made this craft today is recyclable and it is a Vogue craft. So let's jump right into the video guys. So let me show you what we're, we're going to be using. I am going to be using this bling wrap. I should say this gem wrap guys. I got this from BB Crafts. It's absolutely gorgeous. The gem colors on there are gorgeous. Uh, I am going to be using this rose mesh, guys. I got the rose mesh off of Amazon, so I have I cut some of those out. I also have some strips of the regular bling wrap that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Okay, everything I'm using to create this craft, guys, is down in the description box below. So let's get started. So, like I said, I just kind of cut all this out so we can have this ready. We will be using the Mod Podge guys, the gloss finish, and I got this at the Dollar Tree along with this. I, I love this paintbrush. I just, I got this at the Dollar Tree guys, and I have to say, I absolutely love this paintbrush. I have to let you know that um, it's called Master Stroke for those of you that color, <laughs> but I love using this paintbrush, and I had to let you know that I'm just like so amazed with it all of a sudden. So... I'm going to be using this, guys. I got this doily. Guys, this doily is, I, I'm absolutely loving it. I think they had it in gold also, but I got this at Michael's. And I said, I knew I would be able to use it because of the size. But I think I'm going to go back and get that in gold. Now, I don't know if I am going to be using these, guys, but I absolutely love these. I got this at, it's called Gem, Gemstone Stickers. So I have them in the clear and in the gold. Now, what I did here is I took one of the Dollar Tree paper bags. They have an iridescent bag. I don't have the bag in front of me because I butchered the bag. <laughs> so what I've been using it so much is what I really want to say. And so I cut a strip and I went ahead and I placed the letters because sometimes I have a, I, it's just hard for me to line the letters up sometimes. So I went ahead and I just placed the letters on the um the paper bag that strip the letters you know guys i don't know if you've seen these but these are all over the dollar tree you, uh, they're usually readily available and i got one package of those in that particular craft um i started i embellished more of the top and i didn't do the bottom and this craft i'm going to embellish the bottom and and i am going to embellish the top but this time i'm including the bottom so let's start off on the side here what I wanted to do, now I don't know if I want to use the double. Let's start out with the colors, guys. I think I'll, I'll feel better doing that. So I'm going to start by gluing the strips, and I'm going to start out with the gold color, okay? And in this particular craft, the top part of the box, I did color in the gold, just so you know. This is going to look so nice, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my silicone finger on, guys.
Look how pretty that looks. Now it doesn't matter if it doesn't go to the end because I usually wind up going back to embellish with that. So let's go around the box. Now we use a different color with this one. And I'm not gonna go from one end to one end because I'm gonna embellish on every corner. is open I'm going to embellish anyway so it's okay that it's not embellished all the way now the second row we're going to go back and do a second row but we're going to do that row with rose mesh Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish embellishing this all the way around the box and I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. <laughs> um, Alright, guys. So this is what I did. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. So like I said, um, for this particular craft over here, I did all of the embellishing on top of the lid. I wanted to incorporate, for this one, um, the bottom, at least, of the lid. because, And also what I did different is I did, I colored the lid in gold. So we have a pink box with a gold lid. Guys, this is so beautiful. And so, and I didn't want to go too high up, so I just went three rows. So I did one row all the way around, two rows of the gem, and then in the middle is the rose mesh. And then on the very ends, whatever was space was not taken by the wrap, I put, I filled in with pearls. It's not absolutely gorgeous, and then you know that there's openings on this side of the box, and on, on the other side, there's only one opening. Okay. So we went around the box, and this is what that looks like. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Now, the other day, I was making... Let me show you this. Okay, the other day, I was making, like, little tiny brooch-like. I also embellished this jar. I just want to show it to you real quick. Because it wasn't part of a DIY. It was something I just sit down, and I just love gluing these gems. And so look, they're pearl, they're white, and they're diamonds on there. So then I started making little brooches like this. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous, guys? So I did post these, but I posted them on Instagram. I made a couple. So I thought we would use one of these to embellish the center of this box. But before we do that, I want to do that last. Oh, I may embellish it on the side, I don't know. You know I love things off to the side. We're gonna keep that over here because we're gonna use that to embellish. Now what I'd like to do, 
is we're going to decorate the top of the box with the Vogue, okay? So, again, let me show you what that looks like. We spelled out Vogue. We, we placed the letters on the paper. I cut that paper out into a strip, and I love iridescent, guys. That's going to go right on top of my lid. And I may go up higher because I'd like to incorporate that doily on the bottom, like this. Okay, so the first thing we do, the first thing we want to do, is we are going to dampen. We're going to dampen this paper, guys, because it makes it so much easier for me. You guys, um, however it works for you to mod pause, guys, please do that. Um, I find that it works for me when this is nice and damp. It kind of adheres really well to the Mod Podge. Then we'll be using the Mod Podge and deciding the placement. I think I'm going to go somewhere around the center. Not, I want to incorporate the doily so right above that box. Now I'm going to go ahead and seal everything so it doesn't matter. It's not like doesn't matter if I get the uh, Mod Podge everywhere because I'm sealing the paint in anyway. I just want to get that down first and the doily. Okay, so once I get that, then I'm going to place the bow. I like that placement. Guys, I'm going to take it off of that box and then just move it down here. I'm going to dampen the doily. I'm going to do the same thing to the doily. I have the placement. I'm going to go ahead and mod pause the whole thing. Okay guys, so this is drying, so while this is drying, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to place those handmade brooches, guys. I think, um, should I place it there? I think that would look nice. Let me grab a couple. Let's see. Let's get a couple of them. I absolutely love these. This one is very beautiful too. So I have a couple here. Let me just show them to you. Guys, this is what I do when I sit down quietly and start playing with my gems. So I made brooch like I used a round, any piece of round, anything. It could even be a piece of cardboard. And so you cut it in a circle as big as you want and then you start embellishing it. And so I embellish it until I fill it up all different directions and it looks like a brooch to me it looks like a brooch guys I hope you guys like it so I think I'm gonna grab this one I think I'm gonna grab this one guys and that's exactly what happened the day I made this jar guys and look how beautiful that looks so okay so I think I'm gonna place this right here I think that's absolutely gorgeous guys so I'm gonna 
go ahead and do this. Leave that sit here for a second. I'm also trying to give that Mod Podge a little bit of time to dry. So I'm going to let that dry for one minute and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this box. I am so happy. I think I'm getting better at doing these things, guys. Look, I put a handmade brooch on this side and I decided to go ahead and put one on this side. I couldn't help myself. I had to. So let's recap this, guys. So I embellished the whole bottom with the gemstone wrap. It's a little sticky still, guys, so I don't want to... It still needs to sit to dry. But anyway, um, we went two rows of the gemstone wrap all the way around, and then in the center I went with the rose mesh. Then whatever was not filled in, I went in and filled it in with pearls all the way around the box. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous, guys? Now on the top, we went ahead and we put a doily, and then we put the Vogue sign, okay, on there. And then I kind of, you know, I'm always framing things out. So I, we put some bling wrap along the top and the bottom. And then on the side, I put some more of that gemstone wrap on the side here. And then we ended it all with these brooches that I made by hand. And I think this came out absolutely gorgeous. Guys, I really hope you enjoy the video. Everything I used to make this recyclable craft is down in the description box below. And yeah, click like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.